Hi, I am Mr. Musepi here, broadcasting not live about the Battle of the Cow Shed. It was definitely a devastating war, and here we have someone who lively fought in the battle. Sir, sir, Mr. Jones. Hello. Pleasure to meet you, sir. You now tell me, how does it feel to get beat by animals, huh? It felt pretty bad. I'm, I feel stupid. I feel embarrassed. And you plan to, you know, have some other kind of attack? I believe that was your farm, so how are you doing economically? Yes, we, we will attack again later in the year, probably. And so are you rallying up men? How yes. much money have you lost? Before? We have we have lost um, money f that we would have made from the farm, but nothing that we already had. Okay, well that's, I guess, that good news. And so where are you living now? Um, I'm living at the farm across the valley. That is nice, and your city specifically? Um, Foxwood! I don't know this. Foxwood! Foxwood! Foxwood, very interesting. Okay, thank you. And, and now back to you, JD, in the studio. Hello, my fellow Americans. I'm JD, here to show you what went down at the Battle of Cowshed. Now, we have some primary sources who have given us information, including. Snowball the pig, Napoleon the pig, and Mr. Jones the farmer, as you have recently saw. So, I am here to show you how the pig, the sheep, excuse me, almost died. Guys, you have. Oh. Is it okay? So, here we have Mr. Jones. As Snowball is charging at him as their second line of defense, Mr. Jones shot a pellet from his gun that just missed Snowball. Almost took his ear off. It went straight into a sheep. And that is how the sheep died. And goodbye, America. We're back to you, Amir. No problem. Hi, I'm Amir Mustafa. Recording this is JD House. And I am proud to present to you The Battle of the Cowshed.